Hello friends, welcome to AIKD support and today I will tell you how to set up a VPS and also set up a Centora control panel for your VPS so that you can host multiple websites on that particular VPS and this control panel is absolutely free. Okay, so it's a free control panel and I will let you know how to set up in your VPS server. Okay, so the first thing is what you need is you need to buy your first VPS. Okay, so you need to decide that what configuration you require to set up your VPS that is very important. Okay, and how many servers or how many websites you want to really target on each service. Okay, so the first thing is I always thought about that when we are trying to move a particular website to a VPS, so what we need is we need a good configuration VPS and at that sort of uh, VPS which is also fit our pocket along with the good configurations okay first thing is uh, we also need to understand that how much the VPS configuration is and how many website we should run on the top of that particular VPS okay the, this is a website on which aikshot.com gives you certain VPS uh, packages which we can pick from Okay, the first package which I liked and I picked from them is this AIKshop.com's uh, this is Power VPS server. Okay, so what they do is they they run with um, like a yearly contract. Okay, so that is very true in case you want to jump in uh, to build any server and you must really um, looking for a long term service. And this is what I believe that I prefer to get it either uh, yearly, either I get it for three years. Four years it depends okay what are the technology but what I believe is for a year contract that it's absolutely fine with me so in case you need um, a specific contract in case you need half yearly in case you need quarterly so what you need to do is they have a good chat option in which you can go and you can go for and ask them okay you need a different contract base okay so let's see what we get uh, with this particular VPS and what is the configuration and what we are getting in $150 it is a yearly contract okay so we they also provide some WordPress hosting they also provide some backup services for your VPS so but right now we want to know that what exactly we are getting in this particular VPS okay so if I click this so I will be landing to a product page which says that I'm going to get 100 GB of SSD storage okay so 100 GB of SSD storage is enough what I believe and if I compare with few sites and uh, like GoDaddy or anything else uh, we have some different websites which are very costly and for getting SSD storage it's going to be really hard okay so along with it what we are getting is the CPU we are getting two cores and that is very interesting because in this price range getting a two cores that is really promising okay along with that what we are getting is 4 GB of memory and the connection is 100 megabyte okay and one more thing you need to think about that this is not having any capping that means what generally um, there is uh, different different hosting uh, panels what what they do is they provide you a capping like 1 TB or 2 TB of traffic which you can use on your VPS so in case you reach that particular uh, threshold there can be a possibility that you have not reached to that particular threshold but in any case you reach to a level where you hit that particular threshold in that case your website is going to stop okay because you need to speak to them and get the enhancement on the traffic plan and that will going to charge you extra okay so what they are giving is they are giving you unlimited um, what you can say unlimited bandwidth okay that is very very good and in this case we have some list of Linux open source uh, consoles and OS choice which we can pick from so they have a list of um, when you are putting an order you can give them okay this is this is what the uh, package I want and what they do is by default they are going to set up um, either CentOS or Ubuntu uh, and they set up a Centora control panel so in case you want to do it yourself what they do is they set it up and give it to you back okay so once you um, order you will get the whole uh, server you will get root access you will uh, they will give you a control panel and I, I will show you how the control panel looks okay um, if I go to like 
this one um, this is one of the control panel I'm using and if you uh, see if I log in here and uh, it is it is the control panel already been set up and if you go to the domains section uh, you can see uh, the list of domains which are already been set up from my end okay so um, this is how it looks okay and um, in 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 once you have this particular package and today in this particular video I will let you know how to set up the Centura control panel step by step so this is an introductory sort of thing that this is the package which they are giving and I would like to really uh, get in touch with them and if I get any coupon code for like discount if they provide me then I will definitely share some discount codes as well in future in this particular channel okay so in case you want to host a single website you can go for they also have like WordPress hosting so you can go for a specifically a WordPress website um, hosting as well but I would prefer to run my uh, websites on a specific VPS and that is uh, what you can say a segregated section on which I can put my websites and run nicely okay this is what a quick introduction that I have already ordered and I have my VPS now I will tell you how to log in and set it up okay so I will use putty and what I will do is I will log in with this particular IP address and I will click yes and I will give and I will give this password and one uh, once I log in I will change this password as well okay now you can see uh, it is asking us to really change the password so I will put the current password here and I will change it with new password okay so now our password is ready okay so now the first step is so what we need to do is we I just uh, if see if I can really okay once we have logged in now what we need to do is uh, we can we can see that how much space we have and what is uh, the current utilization and uh, I can see we have enough space here we have enough space okay the first step is to update the core of this ubuntu okay this is a ubuntu server which we have built up so the first thing is that we need to update it okay so what you need to do is we need to run a command called apt get update okay so if you hit that it will go to the mirrors which is a satellite server and it will try to update all the uh, latest information uh, which we are getting from uh, ubuntu server okay okay now the update is complete now what we can do is we can run another command which is apt get um, upgrade apt get upgrade and what it will do is it will ask you to really upgrade the necessary binaries which are on this particular um, Ubuntu server okay so once they are being updated then we can go ahead and start with the step of installing Centaur control panel so now um, the upgrade process is completed now what we need to do is if I take you to the central um, so if I take you to the Centora um, control panel documentation so you can see well, what we need to do is we need to do a sudo but at this moment we are already logged in with the root ID and password so what we need to do is we need to uh, run this command which is a wget okay wget to get this particular install script so for that what we need to do is quickly I will do a pwd to check where I am So I am in the root directory and uh, I can run this command and uh, which is wget and centora slash install. So what I will do is I will list it and then uh, if I do ls it says uh, connection is this and this is http not found. So we need to quickly uh, modify this command. Okay. So what I need to do is I need to put https and then hit enter 
and uh, still uh, it is facing uh, resolving the issue so what we need to do is I, uh, I will do a quick change here sometime happens we when we do copy paste it doesn't work correctly so I just change it and now you can see um, it is able to download and if I do ls and now we can see this file is present okay so what is the next step now so next step is if I go to the documentation again and you can see in the next step is to change the permission of this particular file okay so what we need to do is we need to change the permission of this file and hit enter and if I do ls again so now you can see it has a different uh, permission okay and now you can see it has a different permission level which we have changed and now we need to do install this particular script okay so once we when we install the script so it will going to push each and every uh, features of Centora but there are certain things which we need to do manually so I will show you how to install the Centora in this particular uh, video and in the next video I will let you know the few more customization in case you want to do uh, with the stock install of Centora okay so what we can do here is uh, I can um, shoot this because you need to note that I am already logged in with root in case you are logged in with different ID you need to use sudo or switch to a root root uh, user and then you can hit this command okay so if I hit this so now you can see it is the installation installation is started okay so here we can use uh, so we can pick any of them and uh, I'm picking it for example and this is very important that you need to uh, see what is the whole URL on which you want to access this the control panel so what we do is we generally uh, we create the control panel URL from AWS so we use route 53 and in that we create the whole um, URL there DNS name okay so now what we can do is we can hit with the current uh, name which we have I will hit enter and it also asks you okay this is the public IP which you are going to use so in our case yes we are using this particular public IP so I will hit enter and now it is going to uh, do start the installation so for that it is asking us to um, there is a warning it is giving you a warning that we are going to change uh, these things so you need to accept for installation it's a fresh machine and we know we need to install it I will hit yes and uh, I will hit enter so now it will try to um, install each and everything you can see it is removing the app mirror and then it is pushing all the necessary Centora packages and it will do the installation step by step so we need to just wait and watch and rest of the thing will be completed by the Centora package So now we can see this uh, whole installation is completed okay and what you need to know it is that it is going to give you some informations these are the login informations 
and uh, there are some SQL root ID and password and uh, they give you all the informations here okay and this information is also stored in root slash password txt so in case you miss out to copy these things so uh, what happens is you can really um, go to your notepad and save this and keep it in safe location so that you can utilize this uh, id and password okay so now you can see um, uh, we can hit y and do a reboot of this particular machine okay so once it's rebooted i will show you up how the console look like okay okay friends to access uh, this url after the reboot what you need to do is you need to hit the ip address or the dns name which you have set up properly for your uh, website okay so ideally when you get this hosting from um, um, from AIK shop they will set up all the things for you but still for information i'm just letting you know that you need to create a url in case you are hosting or setting setting it up from your end okay now we need to use our um, this user id as well as the password which which is automatically generated by this particular uh, installer okay so the user id is zadmin and i will put the password here and i will hit login so it will log me in the first thing i would prefer to do is to change the password okay so for that you need to go to uh, this account and change password or you can go to this account information and hit change password okay so this is the current password which you need to put here i will do a copy paste and i will update a new password here okay and i will hit change okay so now you can see this password is been changed so what i will do is i will log out and i will test my login is working or not okay so i will hit hit the id and now i will put the password and now you can see it worked okay so let me just quickly go through what are the options we have and later we will enhance the features of the centora control panel in next videos i will let you know what are the basic things you need to really set up and uh, for your uh, wordpress hosting okay so now you can see um, you have changed password my account and you have in the in server admin section you have some module information php i will i will go and let you know step by step each and every section okay and show you up how the things work okay and if you go to the advanced they have a different feature like backup cron, cron job product directory service status okay and web, web analysis status so i will i will pick each and every section and let you know what are the what are the sections and what they tell us okay about the database how you will access the database okay and now after that you have domain subdomain and park domain so we'll talk about them as well and mails how you will configure that then there is a reseller control panel on which you can also use it okay and this is a file manager so if you can see uh, we have some reseller uh, options as well which we can use and in the mails we have these mail options in domain we have these and in the database we have these options so we will go one by one and let you know each and everything about this uh, control panel so that you can use it and you can use it very easily okay and uh, now in this section you will also see these are all, all admin features which you can use okay and uh, now this is the account account uh, specification okay so that said in this video i have already told you that how to uh, do the installation of centora control panel it's absolutely free how to get a vps from ai shop and in the next video i will let you know each and every section and let you know that uh, how the section works and how you will enhance some important features um, in centora control panel like a quick install sort of thing like centastico is the package on which we can enable it and we can enable some free open source packages which you can install automatically okay so see you and thanks a lot for watching this subscribe and hit the bell icon because you i'm going to let you know each and every step about the centora control panel